Welcome viewers on behalf of the authors myself Tanay Odhikari Mitu an IT professional from Bangladesh I did masters in computer applications and was a former student of applied physics electronics and communication engineering and co-author my respected research supervisor Mr Thatis Universal Reddy associate professor Jain Team Hyderabad Our discussion topic is multifunctional remote control robot using android applications which published in IJSR journal on June 2016 Here is the table of contents I am going to describe briefly one by one The main objective of this research is to develop effective android applications to implement an embedded system with microcontroller by using which an efficient bidirectional communication between transmitter and robot can be established Here is the system overview Robot and transmitter Android app are communicating with each other, and there is an embedded system in between them with microcontroller. Here is the practical setup. Transmitter Android app is communicating with Arduino board. There is a Bluetooth receiver to receive the Bluetooth signal from transmitter app, which is decoded by microcontroller and pass it to um, motor driver IC to drive the robot. And there is a receiver android phone which is mounted on a robot and which can take photo upload into the server and get location information and send feedback to transmitter android app here are the four modules of the system transmitter module electromechanical receiver and server module different parts of electromechanical module are showing here Let's move to system design. As we have already seen electromechanical module, transmitter module is actually the transmitter android app which having the components like bluetooth adapter, robot control unit, extended unit or camera control unit. Receiver module has bluetooth app launcher to launch the receiver android app which having the components like camera unit, image uploader, location management and SMS management component. Server module has the responsibility to upload the image into the server and handle microcontroller programming. This use case diagram is showing Android app's connection with robot. After receiving service list and enabling Bluetooth, Android app search for Bluetooth receiver and connect with Bluetooth receiver which is connected with Arduino through which Android app can communicate with microcontroller or robot. This is the sequence diagram. Microcontroller decodes the command sent from Android system and instruct robot via motor driver to run the robot. This diagram showing the picture of receiving Android app. Four objects are here. Camera object open the camera preview, take photo, save into the SD card which taken by photo uploader, open HTTP connection, upload into the server. And location manager get the location information, longitude, latitude by using which SMS manager generate SMS body and sent to transmitter. Hardware and software. As we have already seen, we need two Android phones, 8051 microcontroller, Arduino board, USB programmer, DC motor, Bluetooth device, circuit components, robot body and power source. Hardware implementation. 8051 microcontroller with power source configuration and oscillator configuration are showing here. Bluetooth receiver which receives the signal from transmitter app and output of Bluetooth receiver is connected with the input of 8051 microcontroller which is decoded by 8051 and pass it to motor driver IC. Uh, there are two motor driver in that IC to drive the motor. Software requirements, we need Android Studio or Eclipse IDE to develop Android app, Kale compiler for microcontroller programming, ISP programming tool and main programming language we use Code Java to program Android app, embedded C or assembly language to program microcontroller and PHP for server programming. Let's move to software implementation. For microcontroller programming, we use Kale compiler. Embedded C programming is used and hex file is generated before burning the program into microcontroller. This flow diagram is showing how microcontroller handles the incoming data. Data is decoded by microcontroller using the switch case logic to 
run the robot in different direction. This device is USB programmer to burn the program into microcontroller. There are four activity windows designed for Android app at transmitting end. Welcome screen, Bluetooth control window, robot control window, and camera control unit. Transmitter Android app uses Bluetooth API for connection, which calls Bluetooth adapter to open Bluetooth socket. Android app at receiving end should start automatically upon receiving transmitter's command. Let's see some functionalities of receiver Android app. A camera API opens surface view and call picture callback method to take the picture and write media storage. Server upload manager calls open URL connection to write byte into the buffer. Location API calls location manager class to get location service longitude and latitude. SMS API calls SMS manager class to generate SMS body and use implicit intent to send SMS to the transmitter end. For server side scripting, one PHP file is generated at the server location. HTTP connection between client and server is established for photo transfer. Let's see some of the screenshots of transmitter Android app, Bluetooth control window, robot control window and camera control window. Demo for server upload and SMS from receiving Android app is showing here. Testing and debugging is very important part of this research work. Let's see some of the test cases. For unit testing, we tested all the click events, method response, start, finish, activities, list views. Each and every movement of robot by button clicks were tested. Simple logical checks were performed to test microcontroller or other circuit components. GPS provider, location information, camera preview, server upload, everything were tested. Let's see component level testing. Component level functionalities of transmitting Android app, receiving Android app, and robot control unit were tested. We tested the functionalities of all four modules as integration testing. Let's move to conclusion. One of the major challenges we faced with unstable socket connection with Bluetooth devices from Android version 4 or above. So additional mechanisms are required to handle that issue. Receiver Android app was kept in auto mode. So limitation with programmatic transfer of file or data with Bluetooth or direct Wi-Fi was a big challenge. For handling frequent loss of connection between robot and transmitter app, thread with runnable interface was called. Auto triggering mechanism for receiver app was another challenge. Let's see some of the future scopes. Due to the limitation with programmatic file transfer from receiving Android app, we uploaded the file into the server for monitoring rather than send back to transmitter. So it will be a significant improvement to the research if an effective send back mechanism can be implemented. Android app can be upgraded to handle multiple software and mechanical functionalities simultaneously. For robotic functions like capturing videos, recording sound, monitoring and gathering live information, playing alarm and alert sensor activities can be implemented. Multifunctional robot having several mechanical parts can be tested for advanced operation. Here are some of the references we used for this research work. And finally, authors like to thank IJSR Journal for providing this wonderful platform. Also, thanks to JNTU School of Information Technology for providing support for our research work. And thanks all the viewers for watching.